This is Bill Jasper with the New American Magazine. For several decades now, we have been warning that globalist politicians in one administration after another, as well as in Congress, have been working to disarm the American people through international agreements and the United Nations treaties. For decades, those warnings, which were statements of fact, were dismissed by the progressive-minded as paranoia. Well, the Obama administration has now signed the Arms Trade Treaty, and the battle now goes to the Senate. For decades, the United Nations has been pushing an agenda for all nations of the world to disarm their peoples. Civilians, that is, individual citizens, must not have recourse to arms, says the UN. Governments must have a monopoly on force. According to the UN, only authorized state parties, that is, governments and their military and police agencies, should be allowed to possess or have access to guns and ammunition. What was the Obama administration's response to the UN's demands for disarmament? On October 14 of 2009, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton released a press statement on the United States' support for the arms trade treaty. On September 25, 2013, current Secretary of State John Kerry signed it. Obama, Clinton, and Kerry, and many of their like-minded cohorts in government and the media have been in favor of disarming the American people. Their records show it, even though at times they pretend to defer to their oath of office to defend the Constitution, including even the Second Amendment. President Obama has issued one executive order after another directly violating the Constitution. His administration has not missed an opportunity to use any and every murderous act of armed violence, from the Aurora shooting to Newtown to the Washington Navy Yard, as a pretext for further infringing the natural right of self-defense of all law-abiding Americans. The federal government's still unfolding fast and furious gun-running operation into Mexico's murderous drug cartels is another case in point. It has demonstrated that this administration is even willing to break the law and illegally funnel arms to foreign criminals and then turn around and use the inevitable homicidal mayhem that is unleashed with those weapons that they have provided as further argument to disarm the American people. When Secretary of State John Kerry signed the UN Arms Trade Treaty, he said it was On behalf of uh, President Obama and the United States of America, I'm very pleased to have signed this treaty here today. Now the battle moves to the United States Senate. Last March, 53 senators went on record in opposition to the treaty. If they mean what they say and stand firm, the administration will not have the two-thirds majority it needs to ratify the treaty. But that is a big if. Visit us at thenewamerican.com to find out more about the UN Arms Trade Treaty and what you can do to stop it.